I've got an assortment of dog food dispensing toys here today because I think a lot of people don't know kind of the value of these or the sort of the type of toys that are out there and what they can be used for. When I have a puppy come into the house, I make sure that that puppy is eating all of his meals out of a foodstuff toy because puppies in general eat their food so quickly and um, it just it take, it's, it doesn't take them any time at all and I'd like to keep them occupied. I'd like to work their brains a little bit and, um, and these, these food toys are a way you can do it. Also, if you have a, let's just say you have a really energetic dog, so it's not even a puppy, um, you, it's like a one-year-old, and you just, you can't exercise this dog enough. If you're feeding them out of a food bowl, you are missing an opportunity to really work their brains and, um, and tire them out a little bit while they're eating their dinner. So here's, here's a couple, three different toys. Here's how they work. If you have brand new puppies, or brand new dogs that aren't used to eating out of these, what you're gonna wanna do first is maybe actually even spread a little peanut butter on there, just to let them know that this is good stuff. So you can just spread a little bit of peanut butter on there, you can spread it in, you know, inside too if you want. Get them used to just eating off of the toy, and then once they're good at that, cleaning this up just for my sake, once they're good at that, you know, just licking the food, uh, licking the peanut butter off the toy, then what you can do is you can start to sprinkle some food in there. And you can see that this food just gets sort of sprinkled in and then the dogs can sort of work the food out of the toy. They have to spend some time doing it. This is a half a cup of food and I'll bet you, I'll bet you half a cup could fit in here, but um, basically you just sort of fill this toy up on both sides if you'd like um, and then let the dogs work on it. I'm just going to put this on the floor because we've got a couple of dogs here who will be happy to take this off my hands and then I'll show you the rest of these two. I'm just going to drop this over here and let my guys work that toy. Um, the other toy we have, this is made by Kong. Uh, this is called a satellite and actually you fill the food toy here and so food can come out here. It can also come out here, here, and here. So you can see that if you fill the toy up with just regular dog food, so I just put regular kibble, just their regular meal, put that in here, and with Levi, our latest service puppy in training, he would eat his entire meal out of this. I would just pop him in his crate. Um, it was easier for him to contain the toy in the crate, and it made a good association with the crate. So I would put his entire meal in there, and then he would just bat it around, and um, so if, you're, if, you, if your dog is new to these, you may have to help them a little bit. I mean, they may go, yeah, there's food and it's in there, but I can't get to it. So you may actually have to help them kind of wiggle it around a little bit and see how the food comes out. If they tip it over, see how it just kind of flies everywhere. It's really nice because it's, um, it's, it feels random to the dogs, but they know that if they bat it about enough that they're going to they're gonna get paid in a jackpot um, with, their, with their kibble rolling around. So it's really great for um, for keeping dogs busy. So that's a Kong satellite. Um, this is another toy that I like. It's by a company called Premier. Um, I like this toy because it's got, um, I call them little fingers. It's got little fingers in there. And uh, so you can actually adjust the difficulty of the toy. For this one, I've cut off three of the four fingers because the fingers make it harder for the food to come out. and at least for my guys, I like the food to come out relatively easy, especially in the beginning as they're learning to work these toys. So um, you just you can fill up all three of these little um, knobs with uh, with food. Again, drop that in the crate. These are easier on the dogs to, to get out, as you'll see in just a second. So we've got. I'm gonna drop these two toys down here, and Nemo and maybe Tango will show you sort of how it's done. I'm just gonna put these down here on the floor. Here you go, guys. Oh, I might get some help from the cat today, too. Come on, Neems. The cat, the cat is helping. The dog may, uh, you never know when the dog may. Here, Neems. So if the dog doesn't know that there's something in there, you can just sort of rattle it around. 
help the dog figure out that there's something in there. And then hopefully, once they figure that out, they'll be the ones rattling it around and batting it around. And then it will take them a lot longer to eat their meal, which will keep them busy and hopefully tire them out a little bit. So those are some, uh, some food stuff, food stuffable toys. Uh, there's three different types here. There are plenty of other types on the market. If you just uh, search for food stuff toys for dogs, you'll come up with, a, with a, lots of different ones. But hopefully, giving you some ideas on how to make it easy to stuff them and then how to hopefully um, increase the difficulty a little bit more as they get better and better at this. For more fast, fun, and easy dog training ideas, visit the blog at smartdoguniversity.com. Also, leave a comment below and click on subscribe so you'll know when our videos come out.